Well, Lisa Marie Presley, Elvis and Priscilla Presley's only child, has died at just 54 years old. She was rushed to the hospital yesterday after suffering from a cardiac arrest. Her mother said the family is shocked and devastated. The singer just walked the Golden Globes red carpet on Tuesday. She spoke with Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier and Michelle Turner singing the praises of El Elvis's Austin Butler, the actor who played him and took home the Best Actor Award. So what was it like watching Austin on stage and during this movie and the making of this movie? It was mind-blowing, <laughs> truly mind-blowing. I really didn't know what, it, what to do with myself after, after I saw it. Yeah. I, I had to take like five days to process it mm -hmm. because it was so incredible and so spot on and so authentic. And Kevin Frazier joins us now. Uh, Kevin, thanks for, thanks for being here, one. I, I can't so. imagine what is going through your mind having the experience of having a conversation with her. And I, I just, as we were watching, we were saying uh, she sounded breathy. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wondering if, if while you were talking with her, if Lisa Marie, while she was, you know, on that red carpet, if there were any signs to you that she was in a form of distress from a, uh, from nothing a health this standpoint. Uh, nothing this catastrophic. I mean, she was not 100%. You could tell that. But you didn't think that two days later she would be gone. And it, it was shocking. And it, it almost feels surreal. I can only imagine what her mother, her daughters, um, and the rest of her family are going through because this was a beloved member of their family. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, surreal, I think, is the word, Kevin. So, of course, Elvis, her father, died in 1977 when she was yeah. just nine years old. How did he shape Lisa Marie's life and career? You know, she left Graceland when she was four and moved to California. Um, her mother was the disciplinarian, and Priscilla told me when I was at Graceland with Lisa Marie and Priscilla that she was always the one who had to make the, the hard decisions or unpopular decisions while Elvis just showered and um, flourished so much love on his daughter. And Priscilla told me a great story that Lisa Marie, if she would ever break anything or anything would go wrong, Elvis always had people in place to fix it so she never knew that something went wrong. So, for instance, mm -hmm. if she lost one of the cute, um, balls from the pool table or she wrecked one of her um, go-karts or something like that, Elvis made sure it was fixed by the time she came back to play with it mm. and she would never see anything. He doted on his daughter. He loved her so much and he took such great care of her. Lisa Marie uh, handled a number of losses in her own life. Uh, most recently, yeah. her son Benjamin died by suicide in 2020. Tell us about her journey through this grief and how she has opened up about that loss. She was still struggling with that grief, and she um, penned a story for People magazine talking about how, you know, she hadn't gotten over that uh, 2020 um, loss of her child. I, I mean, I don't think any parent ever gets over the loss of their child. Mm -hmm. And then also, she has admitted about other struggles in the past. You know, after her twins were born in um, 2008, she said she struggled with an old opioid addiction. So there have been a lot of struggles and loss in her life. And most of all, I mean, she was just nine years old when she lost her father. And that is someone whose legacy she has fought so hard to protect since then. But he shapes everything in her life. Mm -hmm. She is always considered and thought about and compared to her father, whether she's doing music, how she looks, how she speaks, everything mm -hmm. she does was compared to Elvis. Yeah, and you know, she really had been in that spotlight, mm -hmm. right? Ever mm -hmm. since the, the very beginning, really. And part of it, as you know, Kevin, was that people were interested in romantic relationships that she had. Yes. Um, you know, people were really sort of taken by her, her love life and paid attention to that. Just remind us of some of those high profile romances. Sure. I mean, you know, one of um, Lisa Marie's big regrets is that she left her first marriage to marry Michael Jackson. And that 
union between the daughter of the king of rock and roll and the king of pop, you know, it made headlines. Everybody wanted to know about it. And it, it went sour pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got divorced after three years. She later on married Nicolas Cage, which was um, an even shorter marriage. And those were struggles. She was also still uh, trying to work out a um, work out some kind of separation and divorce agreement with her, um, her final husband. So this has been a very tough time for Lisa Marie. You know, besides losing her child, she's in court trying to figure out custody and everything for her, her twin girls. And she has dealt with a lot of her love life just hasn't been perfect. And like I said, she has gone back and said that she wishes she had stayed in her first marriage and not left it mm. um, because it was a disastrous decision in her words. Wow. So much heartbreak just on so many levels. Kevin. Yeah, and, and just a, a, a woman who really, you know, it's tough to live in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And she had to live every inch of her life, the good, the bad, and the ugly, in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And that, that made it so tough for her. It did. Well, great job um, covering it. Uh, the Golden Globes uh, looked as though you had a great time. And uh, also just being able to... Um, really like capture a moment in time with someone who all of us grew up with too. So uh, yeah, thank you for yeah. that. Being the professional that you are, Kevin <laughs> Frazier. Always good talking to you, Michelle and Elaine. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin.